What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of my Forex market prep, right? So basically what I do is break down some currencies, what happened last week, what might happen this week. So let's get right into it. Um, right now we're looking at the yen, as you can see. So last week, these are kind of the levels I was using going into last week. These, you know, 108.95, which was a nice resistance area. And you might be wondering, well, how did you get that? 108.95 resistance um well let's take a zoom out and we can see clearly that on what is this wednesday of the prior week um let's see what's the date over here wednesday the second this is the second right here um when we had that flash crash right we had this support level at uh, 108.95, that was broken, um, and then you saw that flash crash happen, right? So that was a support level, and now, what do you think happens? That support level now became a resistance on last week, right? So we use that same support level as a resistance because you know price comes back to these resistance and support levels. Um, so this was a nice rejection of the 108.95 area um, and you can see it tested multiple times and was not able to break which you know there were good short opportunities at this level 108.95 I didn't take them but there was lots of opportunity to short the yen uh, last week so kind of choppy um, but I did get a trade uh, after we found support here right after we found support at, let me just draw some lines for you. After we found this kind of support over here, um, 107.84, let's call it. And then we started bouncing from that level. We got above the EMA, dropped a little below it, tested that level again, and I got out on this breakout right here. So that's kind of what I look for. I look for the breakout, then a pullback, and ride it up, right? So... This is kind of a inverted head and shoulder pattern down here. So right here you have the first shoulder, then you got the head, then you got the second shoulder, and as that line was broken, that second shoulder right there, neckline was broken, I got in for a buy at like 108.19-ish, and then I scaled in another one, 108.20, and I just rode it to this SMA, and I made a quick... 20 to 40 pips ish um so yeah that's how we make money as traders we get in and we make money on these small moves like the currency only moved what 20 cents but that's a huge move um and if you're able to stay consistent and just catch these little moves you know that's how you're really going to grow as a trader but we ended up rejecting that 180 uh sma so that's why i kind of scaled out got out of my position and sold um, and then, you know, later on, on Friday evening, Friday morning, you know, it started to trend up again, but then it wasn't able to, uh, keep going. Right. So this level was tested again at the close. So interesting, uh, interesting. I'm interested to see how this opens up. Right. Um, so you might get a little gap down. Then move higher but we'll see we'll just trade what happens we don't i don't like to predict right because that's when i lose money when i try to predict these double tops and everything that's when i lose the most money um but yeah you, you're supposed to trade what is not what i think is going to happen right so trade what the market's telling you um i know it sounds cliche but it's the truth you want to trade what the market is telling you. Um, so let's look at another one, the pound, the pound. So we use this level, one, two, eight, one, one. This was an important level going into last week and we actually achieved that level and are moving higher. Um, let's zoom out, see what we got. So this one's still looking, I think it's overextended a little bit. Uh, a lot of room for retracement on this open in a couple hours. Um, but 
But yeah, overall highs at 120, 1.28661. Uh, we kind of just traded in this zone the whole week. Kind of traded between, where's my price levels? Between 127 and like 128. And then we finally broke above that level. So here was a nice trade opportunity as you know this the market found support. We were still trending above the EMA line. Um, and then it took out this resistance. Nice, nice play right here. These are my favorite plays. You know, when the market's trending up, we get a nice pullback, it finds support, it holds above the EMA. So there's a lot of confirmations for me to get into a trade. Um, this is a nice one. So pullbacks, these are my favorite plays. I am getting very good at spotting these and you know i can only trade this one play for the rest of my life pretty much um but that's that's something important you guys want to focus on trading one play at a time right and then you know because why why would you do anything else if it works double down on it and you know keep milking it um so we kind of traded in this nice value area i like to call it uh from 127.15 to one two eight one one, my phone vibrating. Um, but yeah, only opportunity I saw was kind of on Friday. You could kind of short, you know, not short. You could kind of trade um, scalps, right? As this was bouncing, it bounced pretty nicely. You had nice support level at one point two seven one five, which was touched multiple times. Good opportunities to scale uh, some quick scouts, day trades, whatever. So that's basically what happened. Not much with the pound besides on Friday. It's a nice spike. So that was a nice opportunity there. Uh, what else are we looking at? So yeah, I expect this to still, I guess it's still trending up. We'll see what happens on the open. Maybe we'll get, you know, a gap uh, into this 12811 support. And then maybe trend back up, but we'll see. So right now it's kind of still uptrending, but it is a little extended. So some room for retracement. Let's see. Uh, yo, that's a good one. The euro. These are kind of the levels we drew last week. Uh, they still play out. They're still playing out. Um, we found support here. At 1.1465, let's zoom in, see what happened last week. So definitely uptrending, then we got some retracement, kind of came all the way back down from these highs at 1.15699. Um, so yeah, let's see what's going on here. Uptrending, holding above the EMA, holding above the EMA. Good opportunities to buy on these pullbacks. Um, and then, you know, once this got below the EMA, that's a good time to scale out and take your profits. So that's, that's something I teach my traders. Um, so when price is moving above the EMA, you get in on these little pullbacks. There's a lot more to it, but a good reason to get out of your position is when the market starts retracing below the EMA. So if you were in a long, um, early in the week on these pullbacks, Nice opportunity, big green candle right here, good indicator that this is starting an uptrend. It literally went from below the EMA to above the EMA and didn't stop until over here, overnight on Monday. Um, yeah, so this is a good, good time to scale out on your longs when price re starts reversing and gets below the EMA. Um, and then we had some little consolidation. Uh, so this is a nice value area. This is where a lot of orders. Um, this is a nice consolidation area where a lot of people, you know, were willing to participate at. Um, so, and then what kind of happened? We used this nice 1.1465 as resistance. And what what happens here? So... We got, we broke that resistance level and we had a huge spike to all the way up to 1.15699, um, which then, you know, the market turned around a little bit. 
But look what happened. So remember this level from Wednesday, 1.1465. Market breaks up, finds resistance at 1.15699. And then the market revisits this 1.1465 uh, previous resistance, right? So this was our resistance level on Wednesday, which was broken. And then all the way on Friday, the market finds support at this level. So that comes back to kind of what I said before, um, where the market comes back to these levels. So that's why I like to keep them on my chart. So yeah, we did find support now at this 1.1465, probably heading back to this resistance this week. Um, but we'll see. If it gets above this EMA, it might be a good opportunity to go long and then you know scale some out at 1.1493 at this SMA. And maybe we can, you know, get further than that. Um, but overall, this is a nice support level here at 1.1465. We'll see what happens on the open um, in a couple hours. But yeah, still in this uptrend from the prior week. So if I draw this little trend line, you can see that. So we kind of broke this trend line on Thursday, which, you know, ignited this uh, sell-off, all right? So we had that trend line from a couple weeks ago, and it was broken on Thursday and never turned back. So we are still in a retracement right now. Um, we'll see what happens on the open, like I said, but that's kind of why this went down, right? Because it broke this trend line. And, you know, buyers weren't able to keep this going, keep this upward momentum going. Um, so let's do one more. Let's do one more. What do we got? Swiss Frank. Yeah, so this one was a good one, too. Um, lots of opportunity to buy this last week. Lots of opportunity to buy on these pullbacks. And, you know, we kind of just blew through this SMA. Um, and that was another good time to scale right here. 9.8, what is this, 9.806. Great opportunity to buy. Another good opportunity to buy as this is trending up. And then, you know, this is where you get out when this starts trending below the EMA. Um, so these levels were from over here uh, on the second as well. So again, Previous support level becomes resistance. Make sense now? So again, previous support becomes new resistance levels. Um, so for this week, let's see what's going on. We're kind of rejecting that uh, 9859 level. Um, some room for retracement down to 9806 before we continue up but we shall see so that was today's market prep um we're still using these levels from last week so not much has changed and yeah i'll see you guys next week